this is a one billion dollar super yacht and it's big enough to hold an entire city on the water how do humans build this stuff and i'm going to show you the difference between this and a 300 million dollar mega yacht uh is this han zimmer I feel like, because I know he hired Hans Zimmer to make a song. I wonder if it's that song. $50 million giga yacht all the way down to this $1 yacht. Why did you sell me this boat for a dollar? The storage just kept racking up. $18, yeah. $18,000. It's so. cost you eighteen grand a year to store this? Correct. Interesting. There you go. Thank you. And after stepping on board, it was pretty clear why this yacht only cost $1. Okay, now that we're on the water, what are we working with in here? I don't think the floor is supposed to do that. I don't know if this is even worth a dollar. Oh, we're actually sinking. Oh. The boat literally started sinking right when we put it in the water. I have been on a yacht once in my life. Count it one time. I do not get yacht people. I just don't get it. You are basically paying a 50 to 100 X multiplier for what you could get equivalently on land. And the only difference is you're on water. And most of the time, you're still, like you're not moving, you're anchored on water, which is crazy. It'll be like, this yacht has a jacuzzi. Cool, dude. The Hilton has one. Okay? It's like 120 bucks a night. All right? You don't you don't need to spend all this money to do it on the water. We got to go up. We're sinking. Jump Chandler. I just think sometimes rich people and I know I'm saying this as a, as, a, as someone who is rich, but I, th this is a different class of rich usually. I think rich people are too obsessed with getting as far away from poor people as possible. They're too obsessed with it. Like, did you really need to get the $100 million yacht just to be a little bit farther from the poors? Really? <laughs> it just feels like overkill sometimes. That was the $1 yacht. Later in this video, we have a $50 million yacht, a $300 million yacht, and the $1 billion super yacht. But before all that, here's the $1 million yacht, which is a little smaller than I thought it would be. Hop on, boys. All right. Let's see the inside. On the $1 million yacht, you get a... It's so fucking crazy that people would buy this when you could just get, like, three board apes. Surprisingly big living room, a lower deck with a master bedroom, another bedroom that I can't stand up in, and then you got some double beds for the kids. Wait, you have kids? Chris, Chandler, Carl, Nolan. Don't worry, boys, I got this. Please stop. Someone's gonna send a rescue boat. We need the Coast Guard! I wonder if I turn this, if he'll fall. Stop! <laughs> this is fun! Oh! oh. For a million dollar boat, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little smaller than I thought. Let's see if these guys watch our videos. Oh my god, he boosted me! Hey, he has seen our channel, that's pretty funny. So now we're going to the 10 million dollar one. 10 million? <laughs> it's just funny that he took a yacht to get to a yacht. Like, that's just kind of silly, right? Like, it's just, we can admit that's goofy. See ya! It's gonna be Bye. great. Bye. <laughs> Oh my God, he's fast. <laughs> and now we are on the $10 million yacht. Let's check this out. Holy crap, the front of the boat's huge. This is way bigger than the last one. Uh, Look at the view. I'm getting some good sun here. I'm really pale. Oh my gosh, yes, this is a nice bedroom. For no <laughs> Again, like th th this is a worse quality bedroom than you would get at the Hilton. It just happens to be on water. $9 million more, I can actually stand up. And right down these stairs are four more massive bedrooms. Why are there two toilets side by side? Oh, that's a bidet. That's a bidet. For your butt? For your butt. You poop in here and yeah. you wash your butt in here. It's a French style bidet. I, I honestly think they're a little worse than the Japanese style bidets. You know, cause that, cause, and the French ones, like, I don't really get how it works. Like, I think you wipe and then you, then you maybe hobble over, and then you clean your ass. So it's, it takes a little bit of effort. Chat, chat. Chris's existence on the screen will not be a conversation point. That is just a human living life, right? Don't be weird. That's an easy one. I don't know why you guys are being weird. Why don't you just use toilet paper? You're so American. And upstairs is a... I know transphobia is the most popular thing to be on Twitter.com, but we're not on that website.
So if you want to go run that, you can go to that website. You can get your likes, but it won't really work here. It won't really fly here. Other seating area. Oh my gosh. The seats on the $1 million yacht were leather and hot. These are actually soft. Soft and practical. This boat is the nicest boat I've been on so far. Well, just wait until you see the next one. It's massive. And because it's so massive, I invited all my friends. Go have fun. <laughs> I'm just I'm just laughing at I every time I see George not found do content creator stuff. It looks like he's making fun of content creator stuff, but he is just a content creator. So I don't get it. I don't. It's massive. And because it's so massive, I invited all my friends. Go have fun. Wait, but he didn't invite all his friends, right? Like, certainly missing a couple of people here and there. Certainly some, some. Some people perhaps did not make the invite or receive it. A lost in the mail situation. What did Mr. Beast ask me to do? He called me to be in another video like last week. I forget what it was. I, and I don't want to spoil it even if I did remember. But it was something to the effect of like, uh, Hey Ludwig, do you want to spend a week with me on a deserted island with nothing but coconuts? And I was like, dude, <laughs> I can't. I, you know what? I I have to say no. I know I usually say yes. I just have to say no here. It was something like that absurd. It's not spoilers. I'm making this up. It's not actually what it was. But it was something equivalently, equivalently like fucked in terms of how long. It was like a week long, whatever. Go, go, go! This boat is meant to hold 150 people. They're gonna have a lot of fun. Whoa, oh my God. This is wild. What is the difference between this and a mansion? This is a mansion. When does it stop? Jimmy, I'm still going. This is definitely the nicest bedroom we've seen so far. And it's nice because my head doesn't hit the ceiling. I can barely touch it now. This yacht has a living room, an office, a massage parlor, two dining rooms, and seven bedrooms. This is the best yacht I've been on so far. I'm driving the boat. <laughs> yeah. I bet it's $25 million, Nolan, you know? It'd be crazy to be on a $25 million yacht and be like, ugh. <laughs> the decor. Ugh, God, they didn't even try. Boat. <gasps> Douglas! It's not feasible. It's not feasible! Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. No way! You gotta... No! Hey, buddy. Are you relaxed? Yeah, I was. Are you done with your massage yet? Here you go, take a bite. <laughs> I have some good chocolate. <laughs> so we got all the goon squads in here. So a $25 million boat with 30 rooms. Why are you guys in here? This bed is so <laughs> cold. Even though this yacht comes with a world-class chef, the boys still wanted pizza. So I planned a little surprise. Do you know what we're standing on, boys? A, a boat. A hospital. A helicopter pad. H. A boat. A helipad. And Uber conveniently does helicopter deliveries. What? Pizza Hut. Helicopter, subtotal 2,000, delivery fee 456. Wait, how is the subtotal for Pizza Hut $2,000? Am I crazy? That can't be real. Oh, it's 54 free. items from Pizza Hut is not $2,000 worth of food, chat. Is it? The pizza's like... The pizzas aren't that... I mean, even if you got like $20 a pizza, that wouldn't be close, right? Unless you dropped a fat tip. That's 37 bucks a, a pizza. I can't believe it actually works. Pizza! Pizza. Yeah! I know. Isn't that just Little Caesars? Uh, look, I just I I refuse to be clickbaited. He said it was Uber Eats in the and it said Pizza Hut. This is Little Caesars. And if I'm sorry, if you are on a 25 million dollar yacht and you're eating 
uh, little uh, Caesars. Uh, you fucked up somewhere. It is the worst of the fast pizza joints. It's the worst. You know you have a dog shit joint when your slogan is hot and ready. That's not a selling point. That's the floor. The fact that your food is warm is an expectation. Ready? I would hope so. Motherfucker, I was hoping to eat it. That's their selling point. It might as well be edible and costs money. <laughs> Little Caesar's new slogan. Yeah, I fucking know. Every pizza place is those things. Take it back? Nope. Nope. Best friend's mom growing up, Mrs. B, used to always order Lil' Caesars after soccer games. And God almighty, help me, even as a chubby kid, a chubby kid who shoveled food down his mouth, I hated Lil' Caesars. Their crust is terrible. They have terrible crust. It's just bad. And I love crust. Bread is my favorite food. Domino's better. Pizza Hut, better. Papa John's better. I think of the four, I go Little Caesars, Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. If I had to go, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing. You, look, if you want to wrap your garbage opinions in the cloak of, oh, privilege take, you can do it. If that's what makes it feel better. I'm just telling you, when we're talking about food that tastes good, Little Caesars is worse. If you want to feel better about your dog shit taste buds, you can. I don't mind. Pizza. Not supposed to swim after you eat a bunch of pizza, but you are on a $25 million yacht. Which thankfully, when you pay $25 million, you get some jet skis. Tariq flipped the jet ski. Yo, Mac, catch this pizza. Oh! 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 $25 million yacht, and I'm the only one enjoying it. If you thought this yacht was crazy, look at this video of the $50 million yacht. You know what, honestly, let's just go to it right now. Zoom in. And now we are on the $50 million yacht. This yacht is over two- Oh my God, we are having drama in the chat. Okay, fine, fine, let's do it. Best pizza joint. The options, Lil Caesars, Papa John's, Domino's Pizza Hut. Best pizza join. It's supposed to be joint, but you get the idea. Round table. I didn't. I know. I, I can only do four options. I feel like these are the biggest four, right? I don't think any pizza place is bigger than these four. I am. I, I don't know about that, but I feel like that's the case. If Domino's wins, this is purely a a success in marketing. Like this is a this is a direct success of of marketing efforts because I feel like Domino's sells the most pizza, has the biggest budget, but they're not the best. Marketing wins again. Marketing has has replaced quality, which is oftentimes how it works in the world. Quality is replaced by successful marketing. They haven't proved that their product's the best by quality. They've proved it's the best by spending the most to convince you it's the best. Pizza Hut is the best. We know this. Oh, would you look at that, though? Take a look at little old Little Caesars. Bottom of the list. 14%. Ugh, yikes. Yikes. Ooh. Ooh. Pizza Hut sucks. No, Pizza Hut's crust is so fucking delicious. They throw so many good seasonings on it. Yum. All right. The winner is P uh, Domino's followed by Pizza Hut, followed by Papa John's, followed by Little Caesars. 
200 feet long, four stories high, can hold over 200 people, and comes with a 20-person crew. With this homeless person I found. What's up, guys? When you pay $50 million, you're given this remote that can call the crew at any time. Sam, did you call me? No, I just wanted to show how this works. <laughs> but that's not the... Why the fuck is Pete Davidson here? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? The only thing the remote does, they said this TV goes up and down. That's cool. That is slow, dude. Maybe it's like... <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs, you guys go upstairs. Tell me if you find anything cool. Okay. okay. Bro, it is massive! It's like a whole nother... Why does Carl walk like an NPC? It's like... Okay. I'm gonna go downstairs. You guys go upstairs. Tell me if you find anything cool. Okay. okay. Bro, it is like this is the exact walk animation of a sim when you tell him to go to bed. It's massive. It's like a whole nother boat up here. Jimmy, there's nothing cool up here. Don't worry. This is crazy. Whoa. The interesting thing is I've just been walking and I don't know if I'm at the halfway point, the end of the boat, or if I just started. This thing's huge. Meanwhile, Nolan overslept, so he was still trying to find us. Have you seen Mr. Beast? Yes. Are you lying to me? Yes. Look, you got you got that many people on a boat. They're just gonna be yelling at anything you say. Apparently, Pete Davidson is there. If I don't see Pete Davidson, I'm gonna sink the fifty million dollar yacht. Meanwhile, we noticed another. That's a terrorist threat, Nolan. And then the owner did this. I was waving at him, and he showed me his butt. That's gonna be someone's dad one day, dude. <laughs> All right, catch. Good throw. Oh. Where are they going? Give me, give me. Are they backing away from us, or are we? <laughs> I like how they're just throwing fruit. We just that much better. <laughs> That's bigger and stronger than all of us, did it? <laughs> wow! Tyler is very strong and big. Chucky! I wonder what other kind of food they got on the shop. I heard they have lamb. They do not have lamb. Mm -hmm. No. Cook to the dinner. Oh man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ugh, just not an oyster guy. Just never been one. I've had oyster a couple times. I know it's a delicacy and an aphrodisiac. But I feel like oyster's big selling point is it is so fresh it has come right out the the ocean sea and it, it directly into your mouth it tastes like salt water itself you will literally taste the algae in the water and it's like uh give me mussels you know douse that shit in butter then let me munch on it all day it's really good <laughs> What projects do you have coming up? Uh, oh, I'm very excited. I have a show a Buckus coming out on Peacock on May 4th. Three days before my birthday. Is this like the Zoomer version of late night talk show hosts having on a guest to talk about their new project? But it's Mr. Beast and he has Pete Davidson in exchange for coming on. He plugs his show. And while Nolan was still trying to find us, which direction did Mr. Beast go? We noticed a lot of boats surrounding our floating billboard. I didn't even know you could put billboards in the ocean. And we thought they might want some chocolate. I'm delivering chocolate. Yo, you guys want chocolate? Oh my God. Let's go. Oh God. Let me know if this is the best chocolate bar ever. Oh my God. Out of 10, to the Hershey's don't know nothing. Hershey's doesn't know nothing. Everyone agrees it's better than Hershey's. Hershey does not know nothing, so they know something. Mm, Jimmy, you fucked up. You have fucked up in front of 76 million people. I could teach you the ways of English. I'm an English major, but that was a choke. Hershey's, you need to try it. Oh, Tell yeah. me what you think. Honestly, way better than Reese's. That's what I like to hear. What do you give it? Hey! A ten. Flying feastable bars to people. Hey, feastables incoming! Let go of the string! One feastable bar delivered. Hey Carl, they're trying your gummies. If you want to try the best chocolate bars, cookies, and gummies on the planet, go to Walmart, 7-Eleven, <laughs> or any Albertson stores right now. They're just called Carl Gummies. Or go to feastables.com right now if you want to order online. Hey, right, what do you think? This is amazing. This is better than every other chocolate, so why wouldn't you get these nuts? I just feel like Pete Davidson can walk into a 7-Eleven and eat the hot dogs there, and he would say the same thing. He'd go, he'd be like, "This is amazing." 
Uh, why don't we just eat these hot dogs all the time? There's such a, b a bounty of food around us that's so good. <laughs> I agree. Put our nuts in your mouth. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, Nolan finally found us. Jimmy! Nolan! We had another five-star dinner. And the next morning, we boarded one of the world's largest yachts. This is the $300 million yacht, and it has over 50 crew members waiting on your every request. Tons of luxurious rooms and nine master bedrooms. Oh my god. Welcome aboard. I literally can't see the top of the boat from here. We are the 69th largest yacht in the world. Is that a factual statement? Yes, it is. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt from Carl's Fire, and that sentence is also, like, not that impressive. Am I crazy? I mean, it, the fact that you're 69th is funny because it's the number. But being the 69th best on anything, it's like, I wouldn't even bring it up. I was the 69th best Super Smash Brothers player. I don't bring that up. I ain't that high. There are six floors, a massive pool, and a hot tub. Top 100, I guess. This is nice. This is ridiculous. This is my favorite boat so far. The $300 million yacht comes with the stick. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Top 69. Technically top 50 in the state of Arizona. Eight of the art gym that overlooks the ocean. What? Dude, if my boat had a gym, I'd work out. <laughs> a movie theater the ocean. Hundred million dollar yacht comes with the state of the art gym that state of the art, no fucking squat rack, zero weights to speak of. Overlooks the ocean. <laughs> yeah, like a state of the art if you want to do fucking five pound curls and run. <laughs> like seriously. What? Sorry. Dude, I'm if hating. my boat I'm had hating. a gym, I'd work out. <laughs> A movie theater with windows that auto darken whenever you watch something. And even the table is worth three million dollars. And the piano plays itself. I want one of these in my house. All the boys disappeared in the spa. Come with me. Oh, you're getting a haircut. Yes. Carl was in the sauna. Are you alive? Barely. That does not look comfortable. And I don't even know where Nolan is. Oh, it's so hot! Hide and seek on a boat like this would be kind of fun. Man really got in the hot tub with a sunburn. Dude, there's more downstairs? Whoa. Oh my gosh. Do you think they have enough jet skis? What's behind this door? Oh, I'm doing this. One of us is getting thrown off the side of the boat. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Always Nolan. Hey, always be ready for nose goes. Jimmy, can we eat some food? Yeah, when you get back. Boys, we must act like rich billionaires. <laughs> Thing. Would you rather have <laughs> 300 one million dollar ships or one 300 million dollar ship? Yeah, well, the the logistics of housing 300 one million dollar ships is nightmarish at best, and to offload those ships would be improbable. But it would be easier to sell them pieces at a time. You know the the tax implications of selling the ship uh, 300 million, even owning it. I think if you get a gift that expensive, you have to like pay taxes on it, right? This is tough. It's tough. So you'd have to instantly sell it. If you get the yacht, the $300 million one, you have to instantly sell it. Maybe renting out 100 is better because it's a lifetime income. Ooh, interesting. You could almost have one for every different day of the year. I'm not going to take care of 300 boats. Which would you rather have? 300 boats or one big boat? You want the big boat. Gentlemen, did any of you notice a boat pulling up? No. On that boat might be Tom Brady. By might, I mean it is. And we should probably go say hi to him. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Tom. Why the fuck doesn't Jimmy invite me to this shit? I fucking love Tom Brady. God damn it. I defended him after every single Super Bowl controversy, every single failed win, every bad season, every sun kissed. I was there. Yet when Mr. Beast hits my line, it's for, oh, Ludwig, I have to survive 47 hours in a fucking airplane crash. No, no. Tired of that shit, Jimmy. Give me the good shoots. Uh, Tom, what's up, guys? And if you don't know who Tom Brady is, he is the number one quarterback in NFL history. Isn't it funny that he gets enough views that he said that sentence? I would almost find it disrespectful for a YouTuber to introduce Tom Brady by saying, if you don't know, you should just fucking know. Like, you don't you don't get LeBron James on the boat and go, yeah, if you don't know, he's a very good basketball player. <laughs> yeah, this is Lionel Messi. If you don't know, he plays soccer pretty well. So this is where you get your hair cut on the boat. 
So it turns into a dentistry. Clean your teeth too. <laughs> I'm saying Mr. Beast is big enough and does have an international audience that's large enough that I think it's okay for him to do this, but almost any other YouTuber would be kind of weird. Is this the nicest boat you've been on? Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. If you eat too many of these nuts bars before <laughs> breakfast, I literally had to hide them in my house because I knew these two would sneak to right where they're at. I did. This place is so fun. It's really an endless maze. I think it's the nicest boat in the world. It's so really cool. beautiful. And it's crazy. We still have more floors to go on. To reach the master of the camera. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is a way Big. nicer helicopter pad. When I think of a helicopter pad on a yacht, this is what I think of, not what we had before. And with Tom Brady here, of course we had to play some football. This is the most fun version of catch because you just do this and he just throws it there. Nope. <laughs> I just suck. No hands, bro. That's what I got paid for, Jimmy. Come on. I want to see if you can hit my drone out of the sky oh, no. with a football. All right. How much has Tom Brady been paid, like, lifetime? Tom Brady net worth. $300 million, but the number was due to grow after signing in a, a massive deal with Fox Sports to be a broadcaster. Do you think they had to tell Tom to not make out with his son before filming? No, he doesn't do that. You guys are being weird. Come on, stop it. He made an estimated $512 million. Wow. He turned down a $375 million from Fox Sports to be an analyst. That's crazy. He earned $180 million from endorsements and $330 million from contracts. So he's been paid half a billion dollars from football. And he and he has... Giselle makes more. And? I know she's wildly rich too. I'm just shocked that... They're just, he's just very rich. I'm just shocked. It's just a lot of money. Does 300 million change your life at that point? <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. I, I, I assume when people get that rich, their ambition elevates to match it. In my mind, $1 million, mwah, that covers everything. No difference if you got 10 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil. Well, I should add, I should stipulate. I should stipulate. It depends where you live. Because you actually, like, a million dollars just gets you a house in California. So a million dollars and a house, depending where you live. That, pff, I don't know how you have an appetite larger. If I hit the drone on the first try, maybe oh. I should come out of retirement. I like that. Dad, you're gonna, like, miss. I guess I'll if you wanted, like, miss. a Bugatti. First try! But I would... Oh, <laughs> Nolan, put your sunscreen on! <laughs> Carl's probably the worst wide receiver you've ever thrown to. Unless you dome him in the head, he's probably not gonna catch him. All right, Carl! Don't he's thinking, shit, I had Wes Welker as my best guy for years. Don't screw this up! Just throw it as far as you can. <laughs> you hit him in the chest. You got to hit him in the head. <laughs> After chilling with Tom Brady, we hung out in the movie room for the rest of the night. Would you say this is the best boat so far? 100%. But keep in mind, there's still a billion dollar boat after this. How big can that get? It is four times bigger than this boat. These things get bigger? This ship is bigger than three Statues of Liberty. Holy crap. You cannot fathom how massive this ship is. It, this is like a this is like a, a cruise. This is literally a floating city that is 1,200 feet wide and 17 stories high. And it fits almost 10,000 people. I mean, I'm not going to be like a fucking... I'm not going to be like, uh... It's technically a cruise, not a yacht. I don't actually know the difference. I imagine a cruise is a cruise because what it does. Like, its application is to bring a lot of people. I feel like a yacht's more privately owned. Can you just buy a cruise ship and then use it as a yacht? Is there a difference? Is it just size? Or is it private versus... I don't get it. In all the other ships, we had our own rooms, but this ship has over 2,000 rooms. This boat has water slides, an indoor mall, a basketball court, and tons of other stuff I can't even name. I ran out of fingers. All of which we have to ourselves. Have fun, boys. Yeah! Yeah! Well, the, it's that way. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I love when they add VO and post, and you can just tell. Have fun, boys. Yeah! Yeah! Well, the, it's that way. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. That looks like they got a... Did they get, like, a voice actor for Chandler? 
That's like when you're playing a Toy Story game and it's it's Tom Hanks's brother. It sounded like a like like Chandler's brother was talking there. Whoa! There's a water slide. There's a whole entire water park up here. I'm breaking the rules. We're running, we're running. I'm sorry, my friend. They literally have live music in the water park. What the heck? There's even an entire sports floor that has everything you can imagine. Mini golf! Let's go! We're literally playing mini golf on a ship right now. Interference! And I wasn't exaggerating when on a ship right now. Interference! I'd say a Norwood three. I would hate to go four, but it looks like it could get there. And I wasn't exaggerating when I said this ship is a city. There's literally seven neighborhoods on this ship. This is insane. We're still on a ship. And just for reference, this is what one of those neighborhoods look like. So I went down a slide and now I'm teleported into like a different world. And you have a carousel? They have shops, restaurants, arcades, even a Starbucks. Hey Chandler. Hey. A hundred million people are watching. Let's see if you make the shot. Good form. This is crazy. Like, how can I use all these seats? I'm only one person. And apparently, there's an entire floor for indoor shows and events. What is this, bro? We got the whole ship to ourselves. Sell, 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 Obviously, I don't need this giant ship all to myself. What makes this interesting is this ship is actually the least fun of all the ships because it turns out that the most fun thing was the interactions amongst the people. So although an expensive ship can be an expensive ship, it has no value unless there's people to enjoy it with. Be it Pete Davidson, Tom Brady, or the thousands that would fill up this floating city. So I wanted to share this experience with you guys, my subscribers. I love Mr. B. Subscribe to Mr. B. Holy cow, this boat. Actually pretty nice. What's up, boy? Let's get it. We're going to go ride the carousel. Carousel, 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 carousel. Where can we go? That game sucks. This game sucks. Mario Kart, Mario Kart Arcade sucks. And just when we had thought we had seen everything here. What is this? How do humans build this stuff? Also, in this giant mall, inside of this giant ship, there's a bar that comes down from the ceiling. Wait, what are those robotic arms? That's a bionic bar. All right, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> From the kids' menu. See how much you guys, my subscribers, were enjoying this ship. Never let go. Never let go. And I had one last surprise for my subscribers on the cruise ship, so I had Nolan gather them all together. I have a big announcement for all of you. To all the subscribers we brought here today, we're giving you a three night free cruise. <laughs> If you want to be in a video in the future, subscribe so you can join us next time. We filmed a secret Mr. Beast video that will never be uploaded to YouTube. The only way you can watch this video is by buying a Feastables product within the next 30 days and scanning the QR code on the back of it. There's Dude is actually biting my shit. We literally did this with the yard. You have to buy the merch, and if you do, you get to see our secret podcast. It is so obvious. Like, I'm happy to set trends. It actually, like, it flatters me. But for Mr. Bean to take it? It's literally never been a better time to buy Feastables from Walmart, Albertsons, 7-Eleven, or Feastables.com. I spent over a million dollars on this secret video. You want to buy Feastables so you can watch it. All right. Good video. Classic Mr. Beast. Looking at a lot of expensive cool shit. That's all the expensive cool shit we saw right there. Very cool, very pog, very champ. Very cool, very pog, very champ. Let's go next. Oh, next is actually where I think we're, re we're ready for Paul or not politics for IQ tests. We already did drama chat. There's no more drama. No, no jet lag. I might do jet lag when they're all up, but I don't want to do. I, I don't think I want to do an episode at a time. Brent Rivera part two. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened to Brent? What happened to Brenty boy? I don't think people call him that. Wow. I looked up Brent Rivera and it first thing that comes up is Brent Rivera kissing his sister. Is that? The heck? Oh, people are not happy with Brent Rivera. Holy shit. Look at yo. 184k dislikes to 112k likes. Damn. That is 